Hi everybody, welcome to another exciting video. Tonight I've got something very exciting for you. It's going to be something I did back in the 90s. Now, I don't encourage you to do this project because it's a dangerous project, but I want you to be encouraged to do something new. I want you to get into doing something new. Don't just copy other artists and mimic things from the past or old masters from the past. You be the master of your work. You create something that's all you, all original. That's what I'm trying to push here as an artist. I'm trying to get you guys to understand that copying other artists is okay to learn and everything, but you gotta have your own style. You gotta have your own flair. And so I came up with a lot of things back in the 80s and 90s, and this is one of them, guys. 90, 1991, I created this called uh, Shattered Shades, and I used to go to like Goodwills and places like that, or yard sales and find old frames that I liked, but I didn't want the glass. And what are you gonna do with this old glass? Well, I got piles of it, so I decided, why don't I make some art with it? So today, I'm gonna take this old frame, this beautiful master's old frame, and I wanna put a canvas in that instead. So we're gonna set that aside. And today I'm gonna create a painting for you called Shattered Shades. That's right, guys, this is dangerous. So do not try this at home. I'm not trying to encourage you to do this particular project at home. Just something new. That's what I'm encouraging, something new. If you're gonna try it, wear safety goggles. Be smart about it. Always use a mask too, because I'm gonna be using spray paint, guys. And I didn't wear gloves, darn it, I should've got some gloves, but I'm gonna go ahead and risk it. And uh, I'm gonna put goggles on though, because I'm not gonna get glass shards in my eyes. All right, okay, this is cool. Okay, so here we go, guys. Now I'm gonna use a, I usually use a ball pin hammer. I could not find my ball pin hammer, but I'm gonna use this hammer. It's a nice framing hammer. And I'm gonna find a center piece of this glass and hopefully break this just right to make a nice funky pattern. Oh, bullseye, look at that, beautiful. Okay, and we're gonna spread it apart, hope it a little bit. Just kinda shake it. Shake it. Yeah, yeah, don't play with glass, kids. It's dangerous. Oh, look at this beautiful pattern, though. Okay, so you can see what it did there. Beautiful pattern. And I might add to it a little bit. Let's see. Look at that. All right, guys. Now I'm going to get my spray paint out. Keep your goggles on. Wear a mask, too. You've got to do a lot of things just to make this happen. But Mask, mask, goggles. Keep the can moving. Woo! Get excited! Looks pretty good. Okay. Whew. I'm gonna get a hair dryer. Oh god. Ugh. Look at that guys, kind of cool, huh? Okay. Where's my big box that I had? Okay, well we're gonna. This big box right here, guys. Big box, put your glass in. We're gonna put the big pieces in first. Get all that glass. We're gonna save because we probably did another one here. But we're after the really intricate look. We're trying to get the big pieces up. I recommend you wear gloves doing this. Dangerous. Dangerous. I'm trying to get made these big pieces out of the way. I don't want any sliding going on, you know, too much sliding. So Okay, don't worry about sharp pieces. You let those just dry right onto the piece. Don't worry about that. Don't try to scrape them off. Your hands get sliced. Wait till it dries fully, fully. Now look at that guys. Now what I'm gonna do, 
is I'm going to get two things of marbleizing spray. One on silver, one on black. First we're going to do black. There we go. Now we're going to finish it off with a little bit of uh, silver shiver. All right, there you guys go. Isn't that a badass looking painting? Look at that, guys. Shattered Shades. I did that back in the 90s, and you're going to get whatever you get, you know. It kind of creates itself. But I hope you liked it. I'm going to do a black and white one real quick. So stay right here. Just the black and white one, guys. I'm not going to get into the color, paint the canvas, and all that. You're going to have to pre-do your canvas. Remember that. Okay, so a little bit smaller of a canvas. Let's hit it about right there. Wow, tough little bash. Was it bulletproof? Okay. Ooh, bam! That was dangerous. Let's put that piece back in. Put as many fragments as we can get in the corner. I like that better. I like that look better. Now you have to arrange it. I used to do this on all kinds of uh bicycles and stuff and weird car hoods and shit at the time, just to practice. I just broke glass everywhere and spray painted over it. I make this kind of a mild gray. I don't want it too dark. Same thing, we're just gonna go ahead and carefully remove that gloss. Some people like colored ones, I like black and white ones myself. Dangerous, stay at dangerous. I can't say that enough. Okay. Look at that, guys. Isn't <laughs> that freaking wild? Black and white, babies. Now, if you want to go ahead and do the drizzle, you can. Just do a little bit. Don't overdo it with us. There we go. Just to give it some movement. Make it like a little 70s. And uh, a little silver. Not too much. Don't want to overdo it. There we go. Oh, there we go. Now, look. Kind of has a spider web effect. Isn't that beautiful, guys? You can do it that way, topsy-turvy, vertical, horizontal, doesn't matter. But black and white's my favorite thing. Anyways, peace out, guys. I hope you liked it. Check it out. Go to Burke3464 Burke, Burke and my uh, website as well, um, foldspineart.com. Thanks, guys.